All right, we're about ready to start up here. So let's see here. First things first, Lit Dragon is not here. And the situation, well, I mean, he might come here. We'll see. But I have not required him to come here for reasons which I will explain as soon as we actually get into the game. I don't want to actually explain things right now because nobody's here yet. So let's just get the Patreon shoutouts out of the way first. And the shoutouts are going to Snow Kieran, Hitter, and a special thanks to my special sponsor, Lit Dragon. Hopefully, I am properly set up. I'm pretty sure I'm properly set up. Therefore, I am properly going to go ahead and get this started. Let me double check something. Yep, okay. Let's get started. So, we are currently in the middle of Sylphco. Team Rocket has taken over this place and also the entirety of Saffron City. You know, when you really think about it, when an evil group takes over an entire city, you'd think that somebody would send an entire army to fight them or something. Instead, they're kind of just letting Team Rocket get away with this. Kind of weird, that. Alright. Uh, let's see here. We got a whole lot of uh, place here to go through if we want to defeat every trainer here. Which we do. We gotta get some training in. So that when we go to the next gym leader, we will be properly prepared. We've cleared out the second floor. Let's move on to the third floor. And I will explain some things as soon as we get into the first trainer battle. Now there's a trainer down there, but we already fought you. Is there anything of worth over here? There's a teleporter. Oh yeah, there's also going to be hidden items on somewhere. Let's see, 4th floor? No. 5th floor? No. 6th floor? No. 7th floor? 8th floor? ninth floor. Yes. ninth floor has a hidden item. Well dang, that's, that's where I just was. Oh well, we'll get back to it eventually. Alright, let's look for a trainer to battle. Hello there, our wings. Oh yeah! Mr. Genesis! Hi, Mr. Genesis! I work for Sylph. What should I do? Preferably not battle me like that one scientist did. There was a random scientist somewhere where he's like, Help! I work for Sylph Co! And then he battled me. What's, it, what's up with that? Have we already battled everybody on this floor? No, there is one more trainer. And he's right over here. I support Team Rocket more than I support Sylph. Then we have to fight you. And while we're fighting this person, let me go over a few things. First things first. I am probably going to be streaming this game just about every day for the next 10 days. And the reason for that is... Well... On June 20th, I want to start on that charity event, the Final Fantasy V for Job Fiesta. And if I'm going to be starting that up on the 20th, I want to be able to finish this game before then. And so I'm going to have to be playing this game like double time if I want to make sure I have this game done before I start up Final Fantasy V. It's an internet-wide event, and that is why I'm starting it so soon, because everybody is starting it that soon. Well, technically, it starts on the 19th, but I won't be able to stream on the 19th. Oh, no! Oh, only needed one more hit! Oh, all of that experience! Well, at least the experience all still applies. Dang explosions. You better not explode too, or I swear. Here, let's try to dodge an explosion. Also, I had to deal with some unfortunateness while I was trying to set the stream up. 
or rather before I could set the stream up. Over at YouTube. Oh, that's unfortunate. Who else can we get? Let's get in somebody who doesn't have to worry about poison. Over at YouTube, I just uploaded a video of Bunny Link, and the video was copyright claimed. The thing of it is, despite the fact that the game is owned by Nintendo, it was not claimed by Nintendo. Instead, it was falsely claimed by this organization that is notorious for falsely claiming videos. Unfortunately, YouTube's dispute process sucks. There is no option to dispute a false claim. And I spent like the past 30 minutes or so trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do about it, which has kind of thrown me off in regards to getting this stream started on time. It's unfortunate. Why not posting a topic about it in the help forums? Hopefully somebody has an actual answer. Man, I'm still bummed about Fluttershy getting knocked out. She needs the experience. You really got me! And you really got Fluttershy! Screw you! Humph. Team Rocket said that if I helped them, they'd let me study Pokemon. Don't you do that anyway? Oh, somebody's poisoned. That's right. Eh, let's just make our way back up to... Well, the teleporter to the nurse is right here. Let's take the teleporter to the nurse. Not waste any time on the elevator. Can we get healed before so-and-so faints? Yes. Almost a shame that the rest music doesn't play when you're doing that. Alright, there's that item that I was just talking about. And we are now done with the third floor. Let's see, three floors down. There's 11 floors total. If I'm doing my math correctly, that means there's eight more floors to battle through. Gonna take some time. So, onward to the fourth floor. And let us hope that we don't encounter any more explodey Pokemon. Intruder spotted! Didn't even notice me walking around the table. Noticed red, rather. I'm actually hiding inside my Pokeball. Certainly not gonna notice me if I'm in my Pokeball. Oh boy, glare. Let's hope that doesn't work. Cause that is paralysis. After we get through the 11 floors of this place, we'll be moving on to three boss battles, by the way. It shouldn't be too difficult, but I'm particularly worried about one of them. But hey, our reward for defeating one of the bosses is a new Pokemon, Lapras. After we're done here, Lapras is totally going to be on my team. Alright, way to fight through that confusion, Fluttershy. Huh, you have to go all the way to level 40 if I want you to evolve. I don't know that that'll actually happen. Alright, uh, Ninchantis is up. Yeah, 11 floors or not, you're not going to get enough experience to reach level 40. That's a shame. Wouldn't have minded a rapid dash on my team. Hello there, Maddie. Making another go at this here place. 
I kind of had to quit in the middle of this place yesterday because had to help family take the pool cover off. Gotta be able to swim at some point. That said, there's no guarantee that I'll be able to get through the rest of this place in this stream either. But even if I don't have enough time, I wanted to go at it today because I really want to make sure I finish this game soon. Who are you? Oh, that's Ninjantis. He's pretty cool. I better tell the boss on 11th floor. That is a very specific thing to say there. Alright, what else we got on this? At some point I'm gonna have to be concerned about res inventory getting too full. Oh, hi! Team Rocket has taken command of Silphco! Really? Would have never guessed. Hmm. What are our options for that? I don't want to throw in Jenny. She'll be weak. And Janet could actually be a good choice for this. Let's see how Fluttershy does at first. Okay, that wasn't even a critical hit. That concerns me. I'll try taking it on. I'm not going to be strong against Karate Chop, but there is the hope that it doesn't use Karate Chop. Oh, that wasn't bad. You know, I haven't tried this whole toxic thing yet. Poison! Yay! I get to poison a thing. Uh, can I survive another karate chop? I don't know. But hey, you're taking that damage. So the cool thing about Toxic, by the way, for anybody who doesn't know, is the longer it goes on, the more damage it causes. In fact, this might almost take it down. Ah, that karate chop. I'm glad uh, Red healed me. Ah, that takes care of that. And that definitely causes more than 35 points of damage. Oops, there was a level up in there. Oh boy, nope, nope, I do not want to do this. Nope, absolutely not. Let me out, bye. You know, it is interesting how in this game, and just about this game only, Pikachu actually sounds like he does in the cartoon. Whereas all the other monsters, even nowadays, still use their 8-bit sound files. Including Pikachu's. Arr! Oh look, another pirate. Met a whole bunch of you. Wahahaha! <laughs> My boss has been after this place. Wonder why. Alright. Good thing we found that card key last time. Oh boy, bunch of items in here. Full heal, max revive, escape rope. Well, we'll be using that if it turns out that we have no more room for items. Hello there. Shh, can't you see I'm hiding? Uh, Alright. We will assume that you are not taller than these boxes that look like they're shorter than you. And then up here, that is totally another trainer. My Pokemon are my loyal soldiers. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it, actually. 
Not as good as- Oh no, 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 not another one! Absolutely not! My gosh, no! Does anybody on my team know Fly? No, nobody on my team knows Fly anymore. Gosh dang it, not another one of those things. Ah. Erica, you have the best chance of surviving an explosion. In fact, get in one of these, just in case. Alright. Para paralyzing it would definitely be good. Hmm. Okay, good. Paralysis kicked in. Now heal up. Uh, the sad thing is, after we're done with this place, we're going to be going into a dungeon full of those things. Oops, forgot to wake Erica up. Well, that paralysis is definitely helping. Oh, and there's the self-destruct. Let's hope that Reflect help enough. That thing screeched at her, too. Yes! Oh my goodness! Thank goodness for Reflect! Oh, and there was another level. Darn! You weak Pokémon! Well, that's not very nice. It's also a double standard. Loyal soldier, and then you chastise it. You are not a good trainer. The doors are electronically locked. A card key opens them. Man, all of these teleporters around here. It's a good thing I looked up which ones to use to get to the card key. I can't imagine trying to figure out this maze of a place, all the teleporters. That go to just random places all over the place. Anyway, that's the end of the fourth floor. Making good progress. Two floors down. Seven to go? Yeah, I think that's it. How short are these naps that this Nurse Joy is letting us take anyway? I'm surprised that the Team Rocket people who are all swarming this place don't come into that room and just beat the crap out of Red while he's napping. I mean, it's probably a good thing. I do not think I would want to be stolen by Team Rocket. And that's a hazard I hadn't even thought of before. Being poached. Captured by an evil group and used for profit. I'm, I'm glad my trainer is good. Show Team Rocket a little respect. You show Silphco a little respect. You show everybody a little respect. Why should we respect you if you don't respect us? Okay, well, that's not happening. And neither is that. Um. No, no Jenny's not going to be able to do much. I guess we'll send in... Ash Chew some more. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Not make a punch. Okay, good. Mm, try out Thunderbolt again. Oh, that was unfortunate. Uh, too bad that Thunder Wave had been disabled. Ooh, nice. Not so nice. Well, I tell ya, 
Takes a lot of experience points to level up a Ponyta. Cough, cough. Which reminds me, coughing evolves into wheezing. Um, that they do. Weird. Alright, how much to level 30? Wow, definitely a slow Pokemon to level up. Alright, what's this? It's a Pokemon report. Four Pokemon evolve only when traded by Link Cable. It's a Pokemon report. Over 160 Pokemon techniques have been confirmed. Wow, that's a lot of attacks available in this game when you really think about it. Of course, there's a whole lot more now. It's a Pokemon report. Pokemon Lab created Porygon, the first virtual reality Pokemon. Ah, uh, yeah, that was... That, that Pokemon, boy, can only be found in the game corner if you win 9,999 coins. Never gonna get one. What? There shouldn't be any children here. A juggler. I think this is the only juggler here. Kind of random. Alright. Well, if Fluttershy couldn't cause much damage against a Hypno, she's certainly not causing much damage against a Kadabra. That's definitely a Pokemon to be wary of, though. Thankfully, they just give a Porygon to you in Gen 4. Oh, do they, Maddie? Oh, wow, wow. Hold on a sec. What happened? I wasn't looking. What is, why is your health low? What happened? Oh, my goodness. That thing is strong. We might be in trouble here. Okay, that helps a little. Here, let's hopefully not hit yourself in confusion first off. Raise that evasion so you can survive the rest of this fight. Oh no, not barrier. My second thought, no, double team. Definitely double team. Hopefully that confusion wears out soon. Okay, good. Meanwhile, that barrier keeps going up. Gonna make it harder to take down. Light screen. The special version of Reflect. Well, if that's all you're going to do, then go ahead. But we'll be leering at you soon. Nope, never mind. Not gonna leer at you. Alright, let's hope for the best. Yay! Go, Ninjantis! Of course, thanks to all the switching going on, Fluttershy didn't get most of that experience. Also, since that thing got switched out, the barrier got removed. And all that double teaming paid off. Strategy! I don't think we'll be getting rid of that double team. It has proven so, so, so useful so far. Oh goodness! You're only on fifth floor. It's a long way to my boss. I bet. Team Rocket is in an uproar over some intruder. That's you, right? Yep. 
kicking some rocket butt. Oh yeah, this is the floor where we found the card key. Alright, before we deal with the scientists up there, let's go ahead and check out what's in these rooms. A TM09. What is a TM09? Takedown. Oh, we can just buy those. Hold on a sec, let me think about this one. Since you can buy those, it might actually be a good idea to teach it to somebody. Question is, who? Oh, Fluttershy. Definitely Fluttershy. There, now Fluttershy has another attack. And some protein. Now we deal with you. We study Pokeball technology on this floor. But those reports were on evolving Pokemon. Alright, Fluttershy. Let's see how good your takedown is. Apparently not that great. Let's try that again. There we go. Uh, still not great. And that sonic boom is going to wear you down. Compared to Ember. It's definitely stronger than... Or, or Takedown is definitely stronger. Okay, really want you to get some experience, so... Go ahead and stay in this fight. Yep, I saw that coming. Oh right, we got the all-in healing items. Alright, let's take this thing down the rest of the way now. And an ember will be able to finish it off, I'm sure. Okay, level 4 Ash 2, good. Now what do we got? Coughing. I don't think that'll be too much of an issue to take down. It is kind of funny that takedown is called takedown, by the way. Because it's like, am I referring to taking the Pokemon down? Or am I referring to the attack takedown? Let me in. Yeah, I, I got this. I feel all advantageous now. Because I'm a poisonous Pokemon that is immune to poison Pokemon. Well, poison attacks, rather. And I also get to poison Pokemon. Except when they are poisonous Pokemon. This thing's a little tougher to take down. But I will prove that two heads are not better than one. I have human level intelligence. You have smog level intelligence times two. Ah, more level for me. Do we have any rare candies? Should check that. Magnemite. I'll get in... Toxic. And then I'll go ahead and switch out. Because... 
Being attacked by sound is unfortunate. Who's in? Let's bring in Jenny. She's got so much HP that Sonic Boom is not going to really do a whole lot. After this fight, we're going to see what it's like to use Soft Boiled outside of battle. In battle, Soft Boiled heals half your HP. Oh, indeed. It's like, what are these, rabbit ears? Yep. You, you are correct, Maddie. Dang! Blast it! Explicitive! We worked on the ultimate Pokeball, which would catch anything. Oh, that sounds useful. Alright, dealing with poison. But we're done with this floor, so let's get out of here and heal up. All oh, right, wanted to try out that soft boil. Definitely a good time now. Counter that poison. So let's see here, soft boil. First off, making note of Jenny's current HP, 115. He'll Fluttershy. All right, so. When healing other teammates, Jenny actually sacrifices a bit of HP. And when that was, what, 30? Yeah, that was 30 HP to heal 30 HP. So it's a trade-off. And that is pretty much why Chansey's have a ton of HP. Definitely something to take advantage of, though. Alright. Uh, what floor was that? Uh, I want to say it's the s uh, fifth floor. Let me double check. Yep, that was the fifth floor. Next! I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. Oh yeah, we met one of you. Again, there's nothing significant about these characters. It's just flavor text. Alright, Fluttershy. You think you can handle this? Probably not, but go ahead and try. On second thought, go ahead and sit this one out. Definitely not going to have a rapid dash before Fluttershy has to leave. Oh well. Rapid dash is basically just a bigger ponyta. There's nothing that significant about it, so if we don't have a rapid dash, it won't bother me. Boy. Try for paralysis. Try for paralysis some more. Or just try to take it down. Oh, and there's the end of it. Oh, it wasn't a critical hit! Awesome! Go, Erica! Took down a muscle-bound Pokemon. All by her little self. 
Well, her character sprite is little, but she's actually around five foot tall. Flame out! Flame out? Who are you, the human torch? No matter, my brothers will avenge me. Yeah, we shall see about that. Oh dear, oh dear! Help me, please! Okay. Look at him. He's such a coward. They must have targeted Sylph for our Pokemon products. Well, hypothetically speaking, if they weren't targeting Sylph for the products, what would they be targeting Sylph for? The Rockets came and took over the building! Team Rocket is trying to conquer the world with Pokemon! Of course! They must have target. Oh, well, I already talked to you. Just from the other side. Uh, let's do a little bit of this real quick. We'll let Erica sit out for the time being. You dare betray Team Rocket? No. We were never on the side of Team Rocket. Oh, this should be simple. Oh, but it'll have Confuse Ray. It should be hypothetically simple. Okay, didn't get in the Confuse Ray. Good. Easy experience. Can you please level up now? Well, not with that little experience. Oh, we're doing this again, huh? Team Rocket really likes Zubats. You'd think they would have evolved this one by now. Uh, I kind of regret not letting Red heal Erica. Because she could totally take this on with her electric attacks. Instead, we'll go with the obvious choice. Ah, there's a goal bat. You think Zubat's cute, Matty? Oh, actually, that reminds me. I did see somebody draw a really cute Zubat. I should totally look it up after this fight. I've got it favorited somewhere. You traitor! Again, we can't really be a traitor if we never were on your side to begin with. If you stand for justice, you betray evil. Uh, whatever. You're not worth arguing with. Alright, let's see about that cute Zubat. Uh, hopefully it's on this account and not on the other side, because if it's on the other side, I'm going to be kind of wasting a little time here. It's too bad you can't search your favorites. But it'll be easy to spot if it's here. And I feel like it'll be here. Zubat. Hmm. There's a Nidoran. Because of course we're going to have Nidoran art favorited. Hopefully it's here. Oh, there's a Golduck and a Rattata. You might be interested in this picture, Maddie. Here, I'll just... Post this in the chat real quick. There. Let's see here. As for the Zubat. Should be around here somewhere. Hmm. 
Definitely a time waster looking for this thing. I'm beginning to feel like it wasn't on this site. Hmm. Let me do a quick search like this. I'll check one more page, and if it's not there, we'll just move on. But it was like the most adorable Zubat that I saw that somebody draw. No, but no, I'm not finding it. Ah, well. Let's move on. If you Google cute Zubat, you'll probably find one that's cute. Or more than one. Oh, and there we go. This is exactly what I knew was going to happen at some point. Ran out of room for items. And this is where that escape rope is going to come in handy. Just use it to quickly get out of this place. And this was apparently the last Pokemon Center we visited. Oh well. Heal up while we're here. Store some of those items on the PC. And the stat buff items at the very least. Also sell that TM. Zubats definitely can be cute though. But when it comes to in-game, you don't really think much about how cute Zubats are. You think how annoying it is that you're fighting these things because they really like to confuse you and your teammates. It's unfortunate. Yeah, we'll uh, store the Max Potion and Max Revive for, well, for, for now as well. And that'll do it. What was TM36 again? It was something that was bad. Self-destruct. Yep. Definitely not keeping that. So how much is explosion or self-destruct worth? A thousand. Not worth a whole lot, but no surprise there. Uh, you know what? Hmm. We got super repels. We don't need them for that place. Sell them for now. Give us a little bit more room. Then we'll head back to Silfco. I believe that was the sixth floor. How much time do I have left? It's 547. I basically have another 40 minutes or so to get through the rest of this dungeon. I'll, I'll be able to make some good headway into it at the very least. Well, I know I could use the iron and stuff, Maddie, but... I feel like they are more effective later on in the game. Like I swear, years ago when I tried using them, the higher level Pokemon were able to get more out of them. Like at lower level, they only boosted your stats by a single point, but then later on they were boosting your stats by more than one point. That's what I remember and anyway, but it's been such a long time I can't really remember for sure. Oh, were, were we done here? That rotten president. He shouldn't have sent me to the Tixi branch. Okay, nope, we got this trainer left. As well as those items down there. The Tixi branch. I'm kind of wondering what the Tixi branch is.
You need to use them before 45 to 50? Well, maybe uh, when we're done here, I'll go back for those then. Ah, finally another level! And you learn Tail Whip. Your tail is made out of fire. Like, your tail is more fiery than a Charmander's tail. It makes me wonder, is your... Is like your mane on fire, or is your mane made of fire? It is interesting to think, by the way, that people can actually ride these Pokémon. And yet, somehow, they don't catch on fire. Makes me wonder if it's real fire. Uh, that thing's gonna have Sonic Boom. Switch out. Let's get Jenny some more experience. And also... Strong against that Sonic Boom. I mean, with how low Ponyta's special attack is, I can't imagine it being very hot fire. You raise a good point, Maddie. Alright, let's try out that soft boiled in battle. Nice. There's this weird glitch when it comes to healing moves like Soft Boiled, by the way. If the Pokémon's health is exactly half their max HP, it doesn't work. Kinda weird, that. Let's heal up a bit more. And then finish it off. And that leaves coughing. Oh, this will be easy for this. Yep, nice. If Jenny had been one level higher, that probably would have finished this. Oh, and there's that level we were just talking about. Jenny is trying to learn Sing. Sing? Oh, it's a tough choice. Gotta say... Hmm, yeah. Let's go ahead and use Sing. That might be helpful later on. Shoot! Tixie Branch? It's in Russian No Man's Land. Aha! I was waiting for this. Evidence that Generation 1 takes place on Earth. Exactly, Maddie. We're going to be heading to the power plant after this, and it would definitely help in catching that uh, Pokemon that happens to be there. Alright, 
He said to just go ahead and use these, so let's see, who could use some HP? 84, 80, 86. Go for Ashchu. Ashu's health throws. It's only by one point, though. Why does it feel like it would go up more than one point later on? Alright, that's the end of the sixth floor. I'm pretty sure. Was there anything off in this direction? We haven't checked this direction. Nope, that was it. Alright. End of the sixth floor. Go back to the ninth to heal, and then we shall tackle the seventh floor. Still not sure if I'll be able to get through this entire place before the end of the stream, but definitely going to have most of it taken care of. Alright, 7th floor. Start with you. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers! Alright, let's see if we notice any similarities with the last one. The last one had a chop and a choke. What about you, Cubone? So will you have a Marowak on your team? Wait, we don't want Fluttershy in this. Good thing that didn't use Bone Club. Couple of double teams. Because it knows more than Bone Club. I find it interesting how Bone Club missed or something. What did it just do then? Yeah, it missed. The thing of it is, it's ineffective. So apparently, an attack that does not work can miss. And as long as it's missing, you don't know that it doesn't work. What it should be saying is that Bone Club does not affect Ninjantis. Because Ninjantis is a flying bug. And ground attacks are not good on flying Pokemon at all. It is kind of weird, by the way, that Ninjantis is a flying Pokemon. Because technically, it doesn't fly. I mean, it has wings. But I certainly never seen a Scyther fly. But I guess if it has wings, that's good enough. Ack! Brothers, I lost! And next he's gonna say that his brothers will avenge him. Doesn't matter, my brothers will repay the favor. Okay, different wording this time, but basically the same thing. And who's in here? Well, first things first. TM03. A lot of TMs here. Swords Dance. Okay. Well, none of the rest of us can learn Swords Dance. Ninjantis will learn it naturally, but nothing wrong with learning it. No, 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 no. Let's hold off on this for a moment. Let me double check to make sure nobody in the future will learn Sora's Dance. I wasn't even aware Sora's Dance was a TM. That could be potentially helpful in the future. So let's see here. Learn by TMs. Bulbasaur, Charmander, Beedrill, Sashru, Slash, Oddish, 
Far-fetched, but we don't have a far-fetched. Not gonna have one either. Look at tongue, Tangela, Skyther, Pincer, Kabutops, Mew. No, we are not gonna have any teammates that learn that. So let's go ahead and teach this now. I think. Double check one more thing. Learn Swords Dance normally at level 35. Yep, let's go ahead and have this now. No, 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 no! I pressed the buttons too fast. Didn't want to get rid of Quick Attack. Now, then again, wasn't really using Quick Attack much. What was our other options? Leer? Could have got rid of Leer! Oh! That's unfortunate. It's been a while since I saved too. Haven't saved the entire stream. Otherwise, would have reloaded the last save. Meh. A child intruder? That must be you. don't think we have to worry about... Oh, right, you got a new attack there. Ground attacks is what I was going to say. Sand attack is uh, definitely something to be concerned with, though. Oh, you might also know Slash. Yeah, you, you would have learned Slash by now. Not a concern, though. You're down. Okay, that might be a concern. Oh, that was a critical hit, too. Alright, who are we going to send in instead? Get some more Jenny action going on. Uh, after that... Sand attack, singing will be less effective, and it's kind of hard to hit a sing anyway. Not sure how that would work, actually. How would having sand in your eyes make sing less accurate? I mean, one would think that just being in the vicinity would be enough to fall asleep. Oh, gosh, wow, what? Wow! My gosh! Like, wow! That I did not see coming! Yikes! Let's avoid that happening again. Okay, you're going to have to knock it off with those critical hits. Well, darn. If you want something done right. Ah. Yeah, you can do that all you want. You're already deathly poisoned. You know what? I'm gonna kick you. Get a critical hit on you. See how you like it. Ah, okay. Never mind on that. Uh, uh. Take this. Uh -huh. That was scary. 
Fine, I lost. Go on home before my boss gets ticked off. No, we'll be ticking him off, all right. We're gonna get up close and personal with his ticking. Wow, that was certainly the scariest sand slash I ever did meet. Gonna need a few bandages after that slashing. Or a rest in the bed. Wait a sec, how does this work anyway? We don't have a healing machine for Pokemon, it's just Red sleeping in the bed, and that somehow heals the rest of us? Well then again, this is an RPG, and sleeping in bed does tend to heal you in RPGs. Now, I'll accept that. Alright, you're next. Aha! I smell a little rat! Oh, that's just Maddie. He's cool. Oh, you have a rat of your own. Are you sure you're not just smelling your own rat? Maybe it needs a bath. Gonna be nice when uh, Fluttershy learns something other than takedown. I mean, it's certainly an improvement over nothing but Ember. Still, could definitely use a few other attacks. Alright. That is a nice level. Ooh boy, an Aardvok. I want to take this. I'm like a snake charmer. And my charm is my horn. Ow. You know, thinking on it, it is weird that I just got excited over taking on a cobra. Spelled backwards. Cause typically I don't even like fighting. But as a Pokemon, it's exciting. Alright, coughing? No problem. I'm gonna play volleyball with you. Hmm. I imagine that even being a poisonous Pokemon, I would not want to breathe in smog for very long. And that's a gold bat. Uh, I don't want to fight that one. Erica, tag in for me, will ya? Well, that's unfortunate. Hopefully she can get in a reflect. There. So even if she hits herself, she won't hit herself as hard. Alright, one more of those, Erica. There we go. Me and Erica, we make a good team. Probably could have gone through this entire adventure with just us two. If not for the whole HM situation. And also wanting some of my favorite Pokemon on this team. Lights out! You won't find my boss by just scurrying around. Oh, we know. We know exactly where to find him. There's a teleporter on the third floor that leads directly to him. Which, in hindsight, doesn't really seem like good building design from a logical standpoint. I mean, what if the teleporter breaks? Then you're stuck in the office with no way out. 
You! It's really dangerous here! You came to save me? You can't! Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. Is that Gary? What the heck is Gary doing here? It would be bad if Team Rocket took over Sylph or our Pokemon. Yeah. Shame that's exactly what happened. Team Rocket was after the Master Ball, which will catch any Pokemon. And they're still here? How long have they been here? And they haven't been able to get the ball this entire time? Yeah, blue is one of the boss battles that I was talking about, and I'm definitely concerned about what he's going to do against us. Alright, Calcium raises defense. My defense is 39, Ashu's defense is 33, I think it should be Ashu. And Erica's good on defense with 44. So, use this. Ashu's special rose. I thought Calcium was defense. Okay, note to self. Calcium is special. Because, like, calcium, when you think calcium, you think bone strength. Well, congratulations on the extra defense uh, special there. Erica could have used that. Or maybe me. No, Erica. Erica could have used that. Oh, well, we got other calciums. <laughs> you mistook me for a self worker? No, uh, we met other scientists here, and we kind of figure out that none of you dudes are good. Oh gosh, not another one of those things. Alright, same plan as last time. Erica gets in. Immediately use Reflect. Or just hope for the best. At least it wasn't explosion. Oh, well, there's another level there. Should include some more defense with that. Now what? A muck. Well, don't have to worry about that thing exploding. <sighs> Recover a little damage from that self-destruct. You know, kind of think of it, of course resting heals your HP. Rest is an actual move. Alright. How capable of you are in taking this thing out, Erica? Oh boy. Wait, it missed? Um, th There was that glitch. Even though an attack might have 100% accuracy, it's not actually 100% in Generation 1, it's more like 99.9%. .9%. There's still a 1 in 256%, or not percent, 1 in 256 chance that an attack will miss. Oh well, that didn't go too badly. I'm done! Yeah, you bet you are. In fact, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be fire too. Despite your age, you are a skilled trainer. 
Eh, Red's okay. But I'm having to give him a lot of advice on what we need to be doing. Alright, that's the end of this floor. Heal up again, and we shall tackle the 8th floor. It is so nice having a heal point right in this dungeon. I think this is the only dungeon in the game like that. The people who made this game knew how nasty this place was, and annoying and unfortunate and all sorts of things. That's as far as you'll go! I doubt that. Hmm, another Raticate. We know Flutter can shot. We know Flutter Shy can handle this. No oh boy, though, that Hyper Fang. Ugh. Hopefully, the recoil is not too great. Okay. Hey, another level! Level ups are so nice when they happen. Alright, that was good enough, Fluttershy. Ooh, a Zubat. We know who somebody is gonna be sending in. Teaching Erica that Thunderbolt was definitely a good idea. Well, Erica has gotten lucky in regards to that confusion. She hasn't hurt herself yet. She was always the more focused between the two of us. I'm the silly twin. Aranita? Didn't think we'd be finding one of those here. There we go. Look away, Maddie. This might get ugly. Okay, you can look now. Not enough grit. If you don't turn back, I'll call for a backup. We're not turning back. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. Yeah, yeah, we've heard this several times before. Like, at least three. Hmm. Forgot to heal Fluttershy. It. Oh wow, Jenny, all those hit points going to waste. Dang. Also, hello dead zergling. The pool situation was it it, it took a little bit of time. Got the pool cover off. 
The pool water looks nasty, and you tell you what. It's gonna take a whole lot of chemicals to get that cleared up. But at the very least, the cover is off. Unfortunately, we have since discovered that there is a leak in the hose leading to the pump. So that kind of needs replaced before we can actually run the pool. You know what? I'm going to reflect. Uh, um, um, yeah, yeah, this, this is right. Uh, okay, I, I, I can totally do as good as my sister against confusion, right? Even though I was just giving her credit to not get confused as much. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I can do this. I can totally do this. My health is too low. Should have bought more hyper potions while we were out. Especially knowing we got three bosses coming up. No! Ugh! Okay. Yeah, my sister is better at focusing than me. Uh, yeah. Okay, focus me, focus. On second of thought, take me out, Red. Take me out. Yeah. Confusion. My gosh, confusion. It was nice having somebody on my team that had Confused Ray. But Lucky had to leave eventually. Alright. Start with a Thunder Wave. Maybe? Maybe start with a Thunder Wave? All right, no more confusion. Screw that noise. Uh, we're, we're looking a little worse for wear. I'm not gonna send in Ninjantis, cause Ninjantis is weak against poison. Was that the last one? I lost track in all the confusion. Yep, that was the last one. Good. Whew! Oh, brothers! I'll leave you up to my brothers! Yeah, sorry to tell you, we already defeated them all. Uh, oh boy, let's heal up after that fight. Man, two battles and we're already hurting. Out of curiosity... Not healthy enough. Kinda figured on that. For what it's worth though, this place is not as painful as I remember it being. No, it's certainly a drag, but it's not that painful. You're causing us problems. You're causing an entire city problems. I, th I think one of us is a little more of an issue than the other.
Wow. Good job. Could probably finish it off with Ember. As far as I remember, Ponyta does not learn any really good fire attacks, at least not in Generation 1. I think the only other fire attack that she could possibly learn is... Flame Tornado, that tornado attack, Fire Spin. And it's not a very good attack. Alright, another Electrode. It's a good thing that my sister's got some beefy defense. Ah, yay, another level for me. Huh? I lost? Yeah, it's it's kind of easy to lose when you make your Pokémon blow up. So, what do you think of Sylph Building's maze? It sucks. I hate it. I'm glad I looked up a guide. I wonder if Sylph is finished. No. No, I'm pretty sure this place is still here in Generation 2. In fact, we can visit this building in Generation 2. Part of it's closed off. Security's increased, that sort of thing. But it's definitely still here a couple years from now. Alright, that's the end of the 8th floor. Quick heal, and then we'll go over there. <sighs> Might have to stop on this floor. I've only got just a little bit left. Hypothetically speaking, supper this night is going to be family night. We have family night on Thursday nights, and tonight is going to be pizza. It's just a matter of time until the pizza arrives, and then I have to go eat the pizza. And I'll go eat the pizza when I get the call to eat the pizza. Because pizza is awesome. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. Well, depends on if you have any Psychic Pokémon. That's not a Psychic Pokémon. I don't think of it. It's been a while since we've fought any Psychic Pokémon. They've mainly been on the lower floors. Which is fine by me. Nope. That's certainly not going to hit any of our weak points. Sick Ninjantis. But he's not going to get sent in against the coughing. Is that low enough that Ember can take it out? Yep. And Magneton. Well, Mr. Scientist, you might know about weaknesses, but you're not hitting any of ours. Uh, go ahead and finish this, Ninjantus. That was a dumb idea. That was totally a dumb idea. Was not thinking that through. New plan. Go ahead and finish this off, Jenny. Let's try to make up for that blunder.
Well, Mr. Scientist, your team isn't good for hitting all our weaknesses, but you at least proved that you are capable of taking on Ninjantis. But in the regards to the rest of us, you're screwed. You hammered me! We made you drunk? Exploding weak spots does work. Think about element types. Oh yeah, weaknesses, definitely. As we were reminded of with Ninjantis. Hmm. Alright, that's the end of the ninth floor. Only two more floors to go! Do I have enough time to get through them both? That'd be cool. It's not likely, but it'd be cool. Alright, 10th floor. Another scientist. Enough of your silly games! Oh, uh, but I'm having fun. And Pokemon's not silly. Hmm. More Sonic Boom goodness. And by that, I mean that attack is kind of annoying. Given how far off Fluttershy is from reaching level 40, I should probably consider sending somebody else in. Because I don't think Fluttershy is going to be staying with us entirely. Maybe, maybe not? I'm not sure. Because after we're done here, we're going to be getting... a Lapras on my team. And it might be Fluttershy who has to leave. Because I went through a lot of trouble to get a Skyther on my team to just suddenly kick it off after just this place. And I sure as heck don't want to get rid of Ch that Chansey anytime soon. That is beyond lucky. I'll have to think about it a little bit. Oh boy, that attack is weak. Or mainly Jenny's attack is weak. I imagine Egg Bomb would be pretty strong otherwise. No continues left. A Pokemon doesn't have continues. It you just lose half your money when you lose. Are you satisfied with beating me? Then go on home. No. Anybody here? Up, oh, just a random person, a civilian. Wah! I'm scared. I imagine this would be a pretty scary situation. This is the equivalent of a terrorist group taking over a building. Alright, who's next? You. Welcome to the 10th floor. So good of you to join me. I want to thank you. Uh, wait. Are you being sarcastic? Feel like you're being sarcastic. Oh boy, it's one of those things. Hmm. I 
Let's see how long you can get into this fight before you have to be switched out, Fluttershy. As long as it doesn't use Karate Chop now. Alright, cool. You got this. And there's another level. Cool. And there's Stomp! Yay! I've been waiting for that attack! Stomp is awesome. It's not super strong, but it's still good. I'm stunned! Yep, that's pretty much what Stomp is. Nice try, but the boardroom is up one more floor. Ooh, Carbos. Alright, you explained Carbos a moment ago. Carbos is speed. Who could use speed? My speed is 54. Ash shoes is 74. That's not a problem. Erica's speed is 48. So... Gonna go to Erica. I'm the sort of person who, when I get status boosting items, I generally boost the stats of whoever needs it the most. A lot of people prefer to jack up the stats of their strongest characters so they're even more strong. But that's not really a good idea in Pokemon. You need to be able to use those other teammates effectively. Oh, there's a rare candy. And TM26. Earthquake! That's an awesome attack. It's too bad none of us can learn it. I'm gonna keep that on hand, though. If I had evolved, I'd be able to use Earthquake. But... That ain't happening. Alright. We're done with this floor? Yeah. Nah, uh, by this point in the game, it's probably a safe assumption that if me and Erica haven't evolved yet, we're not going to evolve at all. Alright. That was the 10th floor. We could totally do the 11th floor now. And that's the last floor. The catch is... Like I said earlier, the only way to get into the office where Team Rocket's boss is... Is to go through a teleporter. So this is a dead end right here. But there's a trainer in here, so... Gotta fight. Halt! Do you have an appointment with my boss? Nope. We are coming in unannounced. But he is probably expecting us anyway. Oh, another Rattata. Alright, let's check out this stomp. And no flinching. But it has a chance of flinching. Stun the opponent for a turn. I tell you what, I would not want to be stomped on by a Ponyta. Or a Rapidash. Supposedly, their hooves are as strong as diamond. Oh, another one? This is gonna be unfortunate. Once again, Maddie, if you haven't already closed your eyes, start closing your eyes. Okay, this one's not a Rattata. You can open your eyes. Ah, darn. We need that flinching to happen. Hopefully no more Rattatas? Nope. Sorry, uh, sorry, Maddie. 
but this guy is attacking us and we kind of need to take him out. Team Rocket misusing these Rattatas. So sad. Alright, last one's a Ekans. Interesting that it's an Ekans and not an Arbok. Oh, and there's Paralysis. That's okay, one more hit to deal with this. Oh, and there's a phone call for me. Hello. Oh, all right. Okie doke. Bye. Alright, well that was an interesting phone call. Apparently the pizza has been delayed. Uh, for at least another half hour. So... I guess we're going to be going on to the boss fights here. But first I'm going to send a text to my parents to let them know about the delay. Pizza... Will... Rob be another 30 mins. All right. Yes, yes, Maddie. We will definitely say putting Fluttershy's foot down on the misuse of Radita and mistreatments. Gah! Demolished! Watch your step. My boss likes his Pokemon tough. Eh, it shouldn't be that tough. I seem to recall the Rocket Ball is actually not being that difficult to take down. Now that said, we are not going to be playing to his strengths. He's got a lot of Pokemon weak against grass and water, and we have none of that. Oh boy. My team's going to be relying on me during that fight. I think I'm the only one with a real strength against his team. That's a scary thought. Alright, uh... It's time for a boss fight. And first up is going to be... Blue. Who's going to go in? Ninjantis, perhaps? Maybe. Yeah, let's go with Enchantus. I believe it's the third floor. That's where the teleporter is. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let's be smart about this. Let's buy some healing items first. We're going to need them. What are our current item situation? Four Hyper Potions and 12 Full Heals. Don't need to worry about that. Four Hyper Potions. Going to need a whole lot more than that. How much HP do we have? Super Potion heals 50. That is what is available around here, is Super Potions. Oh! I know where we go! It'll be a little bit of a slow process, but... Oops, not that. Over in Celadon, they have those vending machines up top. The items there aren't quite as strong as Hyper Potion, but they're still pretty good. And it'll be quicker than going all the way to Fuchsia, where the Hyper Potions are being sold. So, let's go ahead and buy us some drinks. Hypothetically, this is going to be faster. You can only buy these one at a time.
Yeah, this is a little bit slow, but still, we're probably only just reaching Fuchsia by this point. And that would be by taking the bike trail, and the bike trail is fast. Downhill, at least. Going uphill would take twice as long, so I feel confident in saying that this is the faster method. And besides, I love lemonade. Strawberry lemonade especially, but lemonade is so good. Alright, how many lemonades is that? Ten. That should be enough. Eh, one more. Alright. Let's take the elevator this time. As if we hadn't ridden enough elevators in this stream. Oop. And let's see here. Uh, just real quick. Let us sell that one thing. Yeah, X accuracy, not going to be worrying about that. And that'll guarantee that we have room for the reward at the end of that dungeon. Alright, back to Sylph. Time for some boss fights. Really hope we're up to these. Eh, stairs will be faster. Get that exercise red. Alright. Let's do this. What kept you, red? You were waiting for us? Ha ha ha. I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. He's totally stalking us. Oh gosh, not another Sand Slash. Oh gosh, level 38? Ugh! Okay, um... Let's make this easy for whoever is going to be going into this next. Didn't think to check how many revives we had. Might gonna be needing them. Sorry, Ninjantis, but this is gonna be have to how it's gonna be for this. Alright, that ensures that somebody can take that down. Hmm. Poison Sting. Well, after all that effort lowering his defense, not gonna worry about Jenny. Fluttershy, maybe? Or Erica. Erica or Fluttershy? Let's go with Fluttershy. Oh boy, and this is his first Pokemon. Oh, it would be a critical hit. Critical hits ignore stat buffs and debuffs. Let's see how much this damage really does. Oh, stop with the critical hits! 
Do a regular hit. Take advantage of that debuffing that just happened. There you go. And one sand attack, and there's a miss. It is weird to not encourage your teammate to hit a critical hit. A cloister? Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure how well Erica will do against that, so let's send in the big gun. Okay, this is a lower level too, so that makes me feel a little better about si this situation. Oh, kind of think of it, we're at a certain point now where events early on in the game is going to affect Blue's team. So, at the start of the game, Blue wound up stealing Red's Eevee. And Eevee can evolve into one of three different things. And Blue's Eevee will evolve depending on different things. So the situation with it is... If you lose your first bot, uh, your first fight against Blue, he evolves his Eevee into a Vaporeon. Because apparently you must suck at Pokemon, and so they make it so that Ash 2 can handle the evolution. If you win the first fight, but lose the optional fight, or skip it, on Route 22, then Blue evolves his Eevee into a Flareon. If you win both the fight at the start of the game as well as the fight on Route 22, he evolves his Eevee into a Jolteon, which is the hardest possibility. What I did is skip the optional fight at Route 22, so he's going to have a Flareon. It also affects what other Pokémon he has on his team. For example, he has a Cloyster, and I think another possibility would have been a Ninetales, I think. I think. Not really sure. Alright, what are we fighting? A Magneton? Uh... Who else are we going to send in? Let's send in me. Ow! That hurt more than I expected it to. I'm going to kick you. Yay! Critical hit! Not super effective. Or that effective, I mean. Of course it's not super effective. That's a different generation. Alright, I am in I am in way over my head on this, so... Jenny! Oh yeah, and we won the first fight against Blue, so that is why it's going to be a Vapor- or not a Vaporeon, it's going to be a Flareon. A Kadabra? Oh no! Okay. Um, think about this situation. Certainly not going to be me or Erica going in after that. It'll be Fluttershy. Fluttershy can stomp it. That'll do some good damage. Yeah, alright. Uh, and it's, it's awake now. Oh no! And it knows that! 
a good thing Fluttershy is causing a lot of damage. However, Fluttershy is also taking a lot of damage. That was pretty much half of Fluttershy's health, so hopefully... Uh... Whatever. You're only delaying the inevitable. Miss? Oh, that's unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. You want to know how unfortunate that is? That's super unfortunate. Come on. Alright. Yay! <sighs> I was right about Blue. His team is definitely putting up a fight. And there we go. I was right. It's Flareon. Level 40. Oh boy. But Fluttershy has an advantage here. Fluttershy is a fire Pokemon. The disadvantage is Fluttershy is still... Um, never mind. Alright. Let's hope Erica can finish that off. Start off with some Reflect. Oh, that's gonna... that's not gonna help any. Oh, no! Why? Oh, thank goodness that Sing is hitting. Alright, this is where we, uh, try to... Um, oh boy. Let's get some recovery action going on. That'll do. So, Alright. It's starter versus starter. Oh, you woke up too soon. Oh well. Thunder Wave! Also, I'm willing to bet that Blue has a healing item. Okay. Um, that's not gonna work. Fluttershy's having trouble, to be sure. Then Jantus is gonna be weak. Well, it's a good thing we got 10 revives. Try our luck with Erica again. Alright, that should do it. Sand attack, right. Whatever. Go, Erica! Hope that paralysis kicks in a whole lot. Get some reflecting while you're at it again. That ember is unfortunate, but... Now at least it'll help against that biting. Oh, there's Fire Spin! Oh, that's a trapping move. That's not gonna help any. Oh, it's a, it's a painful trapping move. Paralysis canceled the fire spin! Yay! Alright. Two more hits, Erica. You can do two more hits, right? Hypothetically speaking. Uh, 
Okay, this is why we bought all of those lemonades. Mmm, tasty, right? Alright, paralysis and done. Hoy! Good job, sis. Oh, oh! So, you are ready for boss rocket! One boss down, two to go. Well, Red, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. Well, I don't know how that helps you check who's strong. Evolve, yes, but strong, no. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Red, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. Oh, I was really hoping he wouldn't say that. Oi. Oh, hi. You're not a rocket. You came to save us? Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. Cool. Lapras. I'm gonna go with the obvious name, because I don't feel like being creative. Alright. It's Lapras! It's very intelligent! We kept it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you would be a good trainer for Lapras. It's a good swimmer. It'll give you a lift. You had it in your lab? Lapras. Lapras, 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 Lapras. Pretty far down. That. You had that in your lab. Maybe that's what that pawn on the first floor is for. Lapras, the transport Pokemon. A gentle soul that can read the minds of people. It's, it's going, it's, it might want to be careful about whose mind it reads. You can kind of trust me on that. It can ferry people across the sea on its back. And indeed, it will serve that purpose. Okay, healing time! Oh, darn it. Wrong floor. Might as well walk the rest of the way. <sighs> I think the other two boss fights will be a little bit easier. Though again, since we don't have much to go against Giovanni's Pokemon, he might prove to be a tough opponent. Send me in on the next fight. I'm gonna need the experience. Might as well save. Been a while since we did. Hold it right there, brat! Oh, and these guys again. Our boss is in a meeting. You better not disturb him. Alright, time to fight these two for the fourth time. And the final time. Alright, level 31. Okay, this is definitely going to be the easiest of the three bosses.
This will give me, hopefully, another level so that I can really take on Team Rocket's boss. The big guy himself. I'm gonna be want to be careful about that sludge because it could crickle hit like that. You know what? I want some lemonade. Yummy. Nah, not another one. Stop that. Oh my gosh! More lemonade, please! Reflect doesn't do any good against critical hits. Oh, so close. Alright, screw that. Uh, out of curiosity, how much experience do I need to level up? Oh, going with Arbok, huh? 19... Oh, I'm not going to gain a level out of this. I can at least get close enough that maybe I can level up during the final boss over there. Not final final boss, the third boss I mean. Boy, I'm, I'm doing good against this Arbok. Yeah, take that! That's how the fight against the Weezing should have went. And of course, being based on the cartoon, Meowth isn't evolved. Oh boy, it's faster than me. Okay, when I when it bites me, try not to flinch. Oh wait, never mind. Totally not gonna be a problem. I kicked it in in its teeth. I'd like to see you try biting things now. Like always. Team Rocket blast off at the speed of light. Again. Alright. Two bosses down. One more to go. And I have just enough time to safely take care of the third one. Good thing we bought all those lemonades. I'm gonna need them. Actually, I suppose that... Jenny will be able to help in that fight. Psychic. Yeah, she'll be able to provide backup. So I don't have to completely go at this alone. And there he is, Giovanni. We fought him once before. He went down pretty easily. But we had a war turtle on my team. Now it's just us. A ragtag a ragtag band of adventurers. Ah, Red. So we meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters, or experience a world of pain.
Boy, we're not even looking at each other for this fight. Or they are. They are not looking at each other for this fight. Anita Reno! Did not expect that! Alright. Wow. This this just got personal. Uh, once again, the big boss does not have boss music. Just regular trainer music. Oh, and then he used guard spec. I know focus energy is glitch, but I'm not sure if guard spec. Is, oh wait, no, guard spec is status ailments. That's what that prevents. I'm thinking of a different item that boosts critical chance. Dire hit. Yeah. Alright. Oh, and uh, he just sent out his Persian. Well. I'm gonna do this. Ugh. Ow. Ow. I don't want to be part of that. Somebody else can come in. It's a Persian, so it can be any of us. Fluttershy? Or Ninjantis. Fluttershy or Ninjantis. Ninjantis, I guess. Oh, looks like we're going to be getting a little bit of extra money from this fight. You know, we could pretty much cheese this with Ninjantis. Evade, 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 and eventually the poison will finish it off. And next turn might do it, so give me some more lemonade. Nope, not quite. And that takes care of that. I can say that I took down the Persian. And Fluttershy gained a level. Who's next? Rhyhorn. Okay, this is where I come in. I would have liked to have had a replacement for Double Kick by now. But it's going to help us get through this fight. Okay, that Reflect is going to be a good start. Heal again. I guess Reflect doesn't actually carry over between teammates in Generation 1. Kick you in the face. I'm not causing as much damage as I was hoping. But I might get a critical hit. Poison might help. But where uh, it's not necessary. Blue is definitely the toughest of the three bosses, as I ex- Why does my mouth taste like foot? Alright, 
are, what is your last one? A Nidal Queen. Well, it's just as well that I'm out of this fight. I'm not going to be able to take on that. Oh, this might be unfortunate. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. And the Persian is not the biggest threat of that team. Alright, Erica. Let us show that evolution is overrated. Hopefully. Please don't be paralyzed this turn. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. That's going to be an issue. Cure that now. This will take a few turns. But hey, I think my sister can handle this. If I can take down an Nidorino, Erica can take down a Nido Queen. Actually, that sounds like uh, it would be a harder task than what I had to go through, but I am still confident in my sister. Ha. Huh. Oh, oh. My gosh, those critical hits. They are unfortunate. There was nothing she could do against that. Where was that revive? This fight is taking longer than I thought it would. I probably should have saved this for the next stream. Maybe Fluttershy can finish this. That would be cool. I mean, I'm sure Erica is going to feel a little disappointed, but... I, I definitely had the easier fight. Alright, Erica. You can at least get the chance to finish it off. Hypothetically speaking... Oh, you got the first turn? Really? Oh, because it's paralyzed, derp. Duh. Okay, go ahead and finish it. Alright, level up for me. I'll have to remember to use a rare candy. Okay, well, good job, Giovanni. You definitely put up more of a fight than I expected. Arr! Yeah, yeah, I've heard it a million times. R. I lost again? Blast it all! You ruined our plans for Sylph! But Team Rocket will never fall. Red, never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. That—that That is... That is... Quite egotistical of you. I must go, but I shall return. Yeah, indeed he will. Huh, random PC. Thank you for rescuing all of us. We admire your courage. Thank you for saving Sylph. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. And the Master Ball. I know exactly what Pokemon that I'm gonna want to use for that. You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype, Master Ball. 
It will catch any Pokemon without fail. You should be quiet about using it, though. Yeah, the good idea. I imagine... Problems if word got out for that thing. Alright, well, that pretty much ends that. We're kind of hurting, but uh, we can just heal later on. Because I'm out of time, I'm receiving several messages that the pizza has arrived. So I'm going to go ahead and eat pizza. Thank you for watching, and um, down at the bottom of the screen is all of my patrons. And next time, I'm going to go ahead and relax a bit. Talk to all the folks here now that everybody's been rescued. Maybe we'll get to hear about all of those scientists getting fired. That'll be fun.